Coming up in this video, we explore the Express Lift Tower. So then, in this video, we come to Northampton to see the Innovation Centre, which is a very bog standard looking new building. The only thing I can say that's nice about it is it's got a somewhat nice atrium, but the lifts are not glass, and the lifts are just boring 3300s. Looking around the Innovation Centre is very bog standard, and let's face it, there's not much innovation happening here. But the roof was unlocked, so let's go out onto the roof. And from the roof of the Innovation Centre, we spot a much better building, which we should go to instead. What's this? Ah, oh, yes. The Express Lift Tower! The Express Lift Tower! Screw the crappy Innovation Centre, let's go and explore the Express Lift Tower! The Express Lift Tower is currently located in the middle of a modern housing estate, which is quite bizarre. The reason for this is the Express Lift Factory, where the Express Lift Tower used to be, was pulled down and Taylor Wimpy owned land and built loads of modern day rather boring looking houses. They wanted to pull down the Express Lift Tower and they made up loads of lies about it. They claimed that it had concrete cancer which is a complete utter lie because the tower was built in a continuous concrete production method meaning it's very strong and well built. Luckily the tower was brought off Taylor Wimpy and kept. This tower today is used to test generic lift logics. This does sadly mean that the original express lifts in this tower are now gone but at least it is actually being used. Sadly though, all of the major lift manufacturers all have their own lift testing towers, so the only lift logics being tested in this tower are generic logics, such as Leicester, ILE, Thames Valley, Cole Morgan, IMM, and that sort of thing. Also, looking at the express lift tower, notice that the windows are express button shaped. That is a nice feature. Now these windows are not the shape of the classic express lift button, nor are they the shape of the vandal resistant express lift button. They're the shape of the slightly smaller posh express lift buttons. It's really nice that the windows look like lift buttons. And now let's go into the express lift tower. The express lift tower has five lift shafts. There is the hydraulic lift shaft, which is no longer used for lifts and no longer has a lift in it, because let's face it, there's no innovation happening on hydraulic lifts in the present day. This lift shaft is now used to test a drainage system. Then, directly above the hydraulic lift shaft is the slow speed lift shaft used to train new lift engineers on how to build a lift. Then, directly above the slow speed lift is the medium speed lift shaft, which currently has a 4.1 meter a second lift in it. This lift shaft is used both to train new lift engineers on how to work on high speed lifts and is also used to test out lift logics. As well as this, there is the high speed lift shaft that goes all the way from the bottom to the top of the tower, which currently has a 4 meter a second lift in it. Interestingly, the high speed lift shaft actually has a slower lift than the medium speed lift shaft. This high speed lift is used for different lift companies to test out their lift logics on a high speed lift and different generic lift logic companies have installed their logic into this lift to test how well their logic runs at 4 meters a second. This lift currently has a Leicester Controls lift logic being tested on it, and spoiler alert, is really bad at levelling a lift. Also, as well as this, there is the service lift, which goes 2.5 meters a second, which is not used for testing. This is used as the main lift to move people up and down the tower. This was the lift I hoped would have been original, but sadly it's been recently modernised, although it has been modernised with the new iron Canex, which does have perfect intelligent levelling. Also, this lift does still have its original express lift buttons. Let's now ride the service lift. There's a lift engine room on 10. So yeah, this is the lift we use the most. It's a good lift actually. We put all these new control panels in. They've got old controls behind you, the original control. They still work. Now, let's go up to the motor room of the service lift. It's not a 
And let's take a look at this lift leveling. Notice how well Ierly Canex levels. I'd say Ierly Canex is currently the best generic lift logic in the UK for intelligent leveling. And let's now go outside and take a look at the view. I'm going to say that it's Now we go up to the upper roof area of the tower. If we don't put the Christmas lights on, they can find Northampton people. The residents will write a letter to the newspaper. Why aren't the lights on? And I think they think it's an actual tree. Someone once said in, in the. Uh, And now we go to the high speed lift, which goes 4 minutes a second, and currently has a Leicester Controls logic being tested on it. The levelling on this lift is absolutely appalling. Also, the new Leicester Controls has this weird thing where it's got an overly smooth acceleration curve. And the thing that's frustrating about new Leicesters is when they, when they first start accelerating, they start off accelerating absolutely painfully slowly. And as the lift speeds up, the acceleration also speeds up in a weird curve. When this happens on a 4 meter second lift, it exaggerates this. So the lift starts off accelerating slowly, but as the lift reaches 4 meters a second, for the last bit of its acceleration, the acceleration is immense. It's very strange. Let's ride it. And let's go into the motor room. Interestingly, the service lift actually opens its doors directly into the motor room of the high speed lift.
And now we take a look at the lift pit. First we take a look at the lift pit of the service lift. Alright, I'm going to move now. Oh, the special control in the pit, German standard. And now we take a look at the lift pit of the high speed lift. Oh wow. Under cable. And now let's take a look around the tower, as well as the drainage system being tested in the hydraulic lift shaft, there's also another drainage system being tested up the stairwell area all the way to the top of the tower. Test the drainage system as random toilets lying around in the stairwell. How strange! And now along to a winch which they have to raise different parts up the stairwell shaft of the tower. This is for a, um, a hoist system that's in the stairwell, oh, with yeah. a 10 ton hoist to lift stuff up. And they did, uh, they, they tested um, when they run cables under the sea. And now let's take a look at one of those classic express button shaped windows. And now let's take a look at the slow speed lift, which is a 1.6 meter second lift, which is used to train engineers. Let's take a look at a motoring of it. And they use this one as a classroom, so they've got everything they need. So they, you know, the people, the students, they can sit around here. They can see the control box, the panel in here. So you have the, and it's just ideal really for a classroom environment. Uh, I mean. And now we go to the medium speed lift, which is the fastest lift in the building. And let's take a look at the Motrim. This lift has Leicester Controls lift logic. And we installed this, so it's not original here. Mm. It's installed here for testing. It does fully work. Um, I had it running the other day actually for a train, a company that deal with these came in and they were showing off, uh, showing their new students. Um, these functioning because I don't get to see them in mm. a real life situation even though this is not real life because there's not people using the lifts all day long but it's as close as you're going to get without shutting the building down so yeah. that's why companies will come in and do their training because you get proper lifts so then after taking a look at the lifts we took a look at the archives in the lift tower and there's some interesting photos of the tower being built There's also some original catalogues for SMS, one of the companies that merged together to form Express. These catalogues are before the Express merger and are from 1927, which is a very old catalogue. And now, with all this talk about Express lifts, let's go and ride an original Express lift. This lift is an absolute classic, goes one meter a second, has two speed leveling and is 100% original, including the inspection control is original.
Ich bin halt nicht.